For the past few weeks, my fiance and I have been on the journey to complete our DIY shed build from scratch. Since then, we've created a foundation, installed our subfloor, and added studs to create our shed walls. Today, with the help of sweet friends, we will take a huge step closer to completing this project by adding our windows, putting up the siding, trusses, and roof board. Stay tuned to see how we do it. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. And as you guys can see from that title, we are working yet again on the shed today. Last time we left off with putting all the walls up and now y'all, it's time to get that roof on. It's time to get like the outer siding done, put in the windows, put in the door. And hopefully in this video, I'm really hoping and I'm really praying that you guys can see this thing all completed. And then we'll just begin like the cute part, organizing, decorating our little shed so come come take a look we did a massive trip at home depot of course and this is the siding that we chose we had to get tons and tons of sheet of sheets of this stuff this is our siding it kind of resembles b4 so i think it'll look really cute and kind of old schooly to match the vibe that we got going on with the house gonna paint it a really pretty cream color hopefully Y'all let me know what y'all think we should do on the door. We always gotta do a fun door. I don't know quite yet the color of the door. I kinda want it to be gray, like the shutters on the front of the house. Um, and we also have to go pick up a door. Guys, check this out. Marcus is working on the post, as you guys have seen in the footage. Okay, y'all, so I wanted to go ahead and pop in that footage now of Marcus creating these beautiful cedar posts that really are going to make that statement on the front porch of our shed. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Kayla, and this person you're seeing right now on the screen is my fiance, Marcus, and he has taken the reins over this project. He is the project manager. So Marcus knew that I was hunting for a shed and originally we were just gonna go ahead and buy one that was already pre-made because we have a lot going on, our wedding's coming up. But once that whole situation turned sour, I was like, babe, do you think we can build this? And he was like, yeah, totally. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So we've never built anything of this magnitude before, but when I tell you that we are just taking it day by day, step by step, learning as we go and just trying to get this thing done so we have a place to put all of our materials that are currently inside the house we can house them here now so that is like the whole plan for the shed and why we're kind of making it a priority before the wedding So now that the posts are all completed, let's go back to the original clip that we started the video out on where I was giving you guys the update on everything that we've done with the shed so far. But also, can we just like show some appreciation for the beautiful front truss that's going to go like right over the porch on the shed. The camera isn't even doing this thing justice. Marcus, this is absolutely beautiful, baby. I love it, it's so cute. So yeah, you guys, progress is going really, really good. These are cedar beams, posts. We also got these at Home Depot as well. We kinda had to go downtown to get them. I don't know why they don't sell them locally where we live. And finally, underneath this tarp, we have um, the roof board. So after we get the trusses up, which are the things that Marcus built. We are going to be putting this roof board. I'm kind of afraid to lift this because I saw a lizard under here one time. <laughs> but this is what the roof OSB board looks like. So it's aluminum, 
kind of material on one side and then on the other side it's like regular plywood As you can see, putting the trusses up. We've got four up already and we have a few more to get up. We ran in a little hiccup. The instructions we were using says these four inch screws but the ones we had weren't going in good. So now we're using five inch screws and that's working out great. So yeah, we just have a few more to do and then we're gonna have like a semi roof because we already have the roof board and stuff. So it's coming along. So the goals for today are to get these trusses up Babe, are we going to put on the roof board or are we going to do the siding first? Do the roof board first? All right, roof board. Oh my gosh. I remember I told you guys that that was the part that we were most nervous about. So it'll be fun to get that up and then put the windows, I think, and then the siding. So let's go ahead and get everything tackled. All right, y'all, so we just finished getting up all of the trusses. They're all up and looking beautiful, might I add. So now next up, we're about to put on the, well, first, I guess we gotta cut the roof board and then put up the actual roof board. So things are going, taking a little bit longer than we expected, but still making some good progress. It's dismissed, I keep searching for my so um change of plans we actually are going to be putting up the windows first then the siding then the OSB board because that's the correct order that we're supposed to do things in so I'm about to go ahead and open up the window package these are the windows that we got in our last video from Lowe's they are a little pricey y'all I cannot wait to share with you guys like how much this whole project costs us at the end of this video or whenever we finish the project. Please let it fit, Lord.
Okay, y'all, so it's like so close to fitting. So Marcus actually is gonna have to move this one over. Let's go ahead and see if it can fit in the other one real quick. And that way we know we need to do any adjustments to that too. So of course we were a little bummed that the windows didn't fit but it was pretty easy to fix the mistake so basically we just had to move the studs over a bit and then drill them back in and finally we were pretty much good to go but before we like screwed in the window we added this window flashing tape and the whole purpose of this is just to seal around the window and it helps prevent water and air penetration and also it helps defend against molds and mildew and all those things so this was definitely a very important step So the first window was looking good, we got it in, and so we moved on to the other window and completed the same exact steps on this side. Alright guys, so update, we got the windows in, they look phenomenal, we had to do a couple little minor little things to get them fitting right in within the little section that we created but they're in there and they look perfect I'm so excited I can really see this thing coming together so you might be wondering what this black stuff is if I haven't told you already like in a voiceover this is a protective coating to make sure that not a lot of air and wind comes through it's called window and door flashing tape so this is how you put it on. Start off with doing the corners on the inside and then wrapping it around the whole entire thing. Let me come in and show you guys what it looks like from the inside. I'll store right here a piece of wood to go right here to cover this up. Here's what this window looks like. This one, of course, is the one that had like the more tighter fit versus this one over here. This is the one that we had did wrong, but all good the mosquitoes are popping this just reminds me i need to desperately call someone to get out here and start spraying for mosquitoes so before the wedding the land can already be prepped and be mosquito free so now y'all we are about to work on the siding sometimes i want to give all of me sometimes i want to scream oh my god you got me in so much trouble now So update, we have begun putting in the siding. It's looking good. But y'all, we are having to use these nails to put it in. And when I tell you it's tricky, like hammering these nails in is no joke. I'm like, Marcus, why can't we just use screws? But this is what the instructions say to use and we don't have a nail gun 
we don't have a nail gun that can accommodate these long screws so we're just going with it so it's gonna take a lot longer but it's looking pretty good so because we can't see the studs when we're nailing these today which is why we miss marcus is using some painters tape up there and just putting a little strip so we know where the stud is basically so that way we'll know okay this is where i need to put it instead of us just kind of guessing and eyeballing it so yeah way better strategy All right, y'all, so update. <laughs> Woo, we got a lot of work done. As you guys can see, we just have some gaps to fill in underneath like the windows and stuff. And then we have walls officially. It looks so cute to me. I was kind of telling Marcus, I kind of wish we did put another window there, but no worries because our door is going to have a window and I'm probably going to put like a little rocking chair up there on the porch, just something real cute. Um, but yeah y'all as you can see the raindrops that are coming down right now so it's just time for us to run inside we're gonna put like that little tent thingy back on top to cover our project and then we're gonna go get something to eat because we are starving we only had breakfast so <laughs> it's literally 6 30 p.m. and we've been out here since 8 a.m. just to give you guys some perspective Ooh, we're really zoomed in, so let's zoom out. Okay, zoom out, please. Zoom out. Still zooming out? Okay, normalcy. So yeah, that's how far we got today. And we will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully.
All right, y'all, so it is the next day and the big goal for today was just to completely finish the siding. There was still some nails that we had to put in because we didn't completely secure the siding pieces, but we just wanted to get all of them cut out. So now Marcus is working on the siding that goes around the window. We saved those for last because we knew they would be the trickier cut. And unfortunately, our circular saw went out on us, so Marcus is having to use the jigsaw to make these cuts, which is just a lot trickier to keep it straight and all that. It moves quite a bit, but you know, he's trying his best to get it done. So originally, we were going to create like four pieces to go around the window and then like caulk all of the seams with wood glue or whatever, but Marcus thought it would be better just to create um one piece right here so just cut out a big hole for the window instead of having four pieces of wood it's all like connected here and it's less caulking and all that stuff so that's what he is doing in this clip But unfortunately, the piece just didn't quite fit. It fit perfectly, like flipped, but with the beadboard pattern on top, for whatever reason, it didn't fit because Marcus cut it a little bit less on one side. So instead, he was like, okay, whatever, let's just go ahead and do the four pieces. But to be honest, he really wasn't feeling it. He knew he could get it right if he gave it another try. So in the next day, you will see him execute that. And it ends up looking really, really good, y'all. All right, y'all, so it is the next day, and this day we got so, so much done, you guys. I'm so excited and I can't wait to share with you all. So Marcus called in some reinforcements. He was like, look, we gonna need help. So he called his groomsmen, who, whoever was available, to just come out and give us a hand with tackling the shed. So first up, you guys will see Jordan here, and I'm gonna introduce you guys to him in a second. And then we had some other friends come out a little later, and when I tell you, guys like how nice it was just to be able to have a little help on this project so because so far it's just been Marcus and I working on it as you know and so Jordan was working on um, nailing in the siding into the studs because like I said we cut out the pieces for that side but we didn't actually nail it in so he is going to town over there on that side and Marcus is trying to create those pieces that go around the window. Like I said, he wanted to give it another try and he knew he could do it and he did. So you guys will see that in just a second.
All right, good morning, you guys. So we are outside trying to finish getting the walls up. So Marcus finally was able to create the perfect cut to go around the windows. Was that tricky for you? No, it wasn't tricky. I just had to really take my time and double check. Yeah. Double checking stuff. Okay, okay. <clears throat> and prayer. In prayer. <laughs> Make a, have some little squiggles. Yes. There you go. Okay. I love it. There we go. <laughs> and y'all, we've been so blessed today because we finally had an extra set of hands from Jordan. This is Marcus's friend, his best friend. Yes, yes. How y'all doing? A pleasure to meet y'all finally. Meet the subbies. That's yes, what they're the subbies. Yeah, the subbies. I'm a subby too, so it's yeah. good. <laughs> Thank you. So he was working on like doing the nails all on the other side of the shed. How was it? Was it tricky or? Was nah, it, right? it was good. It was straightforward. Um, yeah. I've got a little sweat going on. Uh huh. So, you know. Yeah, I'm so work. thankful. Right, y'all are killing it. Oh yeah, and I'm it's excited so to see the final product. I know, me too. Y'all, this is all of Jordan's work. So, if you guys remember, we didn't like nail everything in last time we put these up. So he finished it all over here, and it looks so good. Now everything is like all secure. So now on this side, all Marcus has to do is cut out the last board right here. Oh, and we have to do this one too. It's not quite together yet but I'll probably work on that one in a second and then this one has to be done too so once we got the sides kind of done y'all so we just got to get the front done and then oh, it's coming together it's really really coming together All right, and then as soon as Jordan was leaving, literally Zach, which is another one of Marcus's groomsmen and his girlfriend Haven pulled up and they lent us some extra hands, which was super sweet. So Haven and I were working on just getting those front boards that I told you guys about, getting those secured. The boards got a little warped because of the weather, so they weren't like as flush as they needed to be. So um, Marcus did have to help us out a little bit with that. But it didn't take us that long to finish it up. And once that was complete, I actually ran off for a little bit because I had to go do my dress fitting. Really excited about that. So it was good that they were still here to help Marcus out with everything. And now he finished the siding for the window on one side. So now he was gonna repeat those same exact steps to create the siding to go on the window on the other side.
Great. Perfect. Last one, y'all. Y'all, look at this. It looks so good. I'm so thankful, like entirely grateful for the help that we were able to get and receive today because honestly, Marcus and I would probably still be struggling, but it was really nice to have another pair of hands. Um, or actually, we had a couple pair of hands here today. Um, and it really helped because Marcus was able to have someone help him like put the roof board up, which I told you guys is really heavy. I would have tried my best, but y'all, the stuff is heavy, okay? So this is what it looks like from the inside. It looks so nice. I am obsessed with it and the window and everything. There's some spots we're gonna have to like caulk a bit. And Zach went ahead and he like foamed this out for us. I think we're gonna have to like cut it off like how he did over here on this side. So yeah, I just cannot believe it. This is so cute. So at this point, we had literally been outside for the entire day, but Marcus wanted to go ahead and add a couple more screws on top of like the roof board because Zach and Marcus, they just put like two safety screws in, but he wanted to add them all over. Um, so he went up there and he did that. I was kind of nervous for him to be up there. It's like, is it slippery? He's like, no, it's good. So yeah, enjoy this little montage, you guys. But I'm so happy about the progress we made in this video and so thankful for the friends that were able to come out and help us help us we will forever be grateful um i'll catch you guys in our next video we're gonna go ahead and end it out right here the shed is so close to being completed so i cannot wait to bring you guys another video um and hopefully in the next video we will be done i love you guys so much if you're new here please hit that subscribe button please hit the like button comment down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys